Mr. Michael Ball, it hey, is thanks. lovely to see you after 12 years. I yeah. think we just figured out. Yeah, so I was 15. Yes. And uh, so you're, uh, what, you're three years younger than me? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Exactly, that was it. Clear. No, it was. It was, it was Chitty Chitty it was Bang Bang. It was Chitty Bang Bang when I played your daughter. Yeah. yeah. What an amazing time that was as well. <laughs> it was incredible. What was it like being a kid doing it? Because it was like a, it was like a sweet factory for everybody. Well, they, they kind of kept everything from us, like seeing the, the car work properly yeah, and that's stuff. Right. It was all very hidden, so it genuinely just felt like I was Jemima Potts who got to fly in the car that her dad made. I've got some <laughs> embarrassing photos Have you? Of us oh, don't really. When, when we were in it, if you would like to see them. Yes, <laughs> well, I don't know, would I? <laughs> well, there's, there's this one, which everyone will see. Uh, of us when we were recording the album. My God. And then there's this of us when we were bowing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> little Harry little Francis. Little Harry, who I was yeah. in Hairspray with. Yes, and I saw Emma recently as well. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's doing Annie yeah, Get You Go. Yeah, she's just doing that. And this was on the front of the theatre. You and me, babe. Yeah. Look at us My there. My gosh. Yeah, not changed at all. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely thing. It was a beautiful show. It was an incredible show. So you've got an album coming out. I have. I've got my 19th. Your 19th. Solo studio album. Amazing. I was trying to think what to call it. I would really wanted it to be called Now That's What I Call Michael 19. <laughs> but. Oh, please tell me you did. No, they won't. I would let love me. that. It's a brilliant title, isn't that's it? That's amazing. Why? Really? Why? Yes, come on. <laughs> now that's what I call Michael 19. I refuse to call that album anything well, I'm, else. That's what I'm calling it. It's actually called If Everyone Was Listening, which is the title of one of the songs. It's a, a Super right. Tramp song. And it was one of the key songs that got me involved in this in this business because I was in the Surrey Youth Theatre mm -hmm. at 16 and um, we opened the evening with this track because the song goes, the actors and jesters are here, the stage is in darkness and clear, they're raising the curtain, no one's quite certain whose play it is. So all of the words <laughs> right. were kind of appropriate. Of and I've wanted to record it ever since. I've done it once in, in, in concert form and I thought this is the, the album because I've sort of A&R'd it myself, mm -hmm. you know, found with, with help obviously, uh, finding all the songs coming together. So I said, well, I'd love to, to finally record this one. Amazing. And it's a nice album. Good. I can't wait to hear it. You've not heard it yet? No, no, not yet. I'll have to send you a, a pre-copy. Oh, hello. To see. It's <laughs> exciting. Actually, we, we master it tomorrow. It's, Amazing. Uh, yeah. So by the time this goes out, well, I'll, I'll, I'll have had it and it'll be ready. And Lovely. I'm really chuffed with it. Really chuffed. Awesome. Do you like country music? Love country music. Do you see, uh, there's a real correlation, I think, between theatre music and, mm. and country music because they're stories, they're, yeah. um, they're emotional songs, they wear their hearts on the sleeves. Yeah, there's heart to it, yeah. So there's, there's a few of those, not over twangy, yeah. but, you know. But, yeah. there, but there, there's a beautiful Alison Krauss song. Do you know Alison Krauss? No, I don't. You ought to listen to her. She's okay. amazing. It's a song called Simple Love. Which is really, really... Uh, what songs would you know? Because there, there are quite a few covers on there. You know the Jason Mraz song, mm -hmm. I Won't Give Up. Yep, amazing Do you know Sh uh, Sugarland? No. Stuck Like Glue? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now that you've said that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that song is the song I used to do my warm-up to Hairspray. Right. And then followed, then when we were on tour, and then for Sweeney Todd. Right. So <laughs> here I am. Yep. As the serial killer from hell. You know, doing that and stuck lag glue. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> stuck lag glue. And get everyone dancing around to it Love before it. we went and cut everyone's throats. You could do a Joanna. Have you got that kind of? I, I'm high? more of a Mrs. Love it. Are you? I am, yeah. You'll have to wait a while for that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit longer, but. Is no, that one you're aiming for? That is the dream, yeah. I'd love to be Mrs. Love it. Oh, wouldn't everyone? I'd yeah. love to be Mrs. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I really would. No, the most evil thing was Colm Wilkinson's last performance. Oh, God. Um, when Alan Armstrong <laughs> had left, he was the original Tenardi and he'd left. And the, the, the big moment, the entrance into Paris. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And yeah. on, on comes Valjean with, uh, with Cosette mm -hmm. giving out blankets and, and money. And there's an extra. <laughs> it was an extra. None of us knew what was going on. There was an extra beggar on stage. Oh, no. Big hat and a blanket, just wandering around the stage, and we're all trying to do our grown-up acting. And as, as Valjean and Cosette come down the centre, he stood centre stage, back to the audience, and went stark <laughs> naked. Oh my did a god. helicopter, <laughs> closed, and walked walked off. Oh my god! Can you imagine trying to do the rest of that scene? Yeah. Well, we couldn't. Yeah. You know, it was turned into a dream ballet. No one could actually speak. <laughs> I was once given a little felt cat at stage door 
And we had this amazing Tenardier last year called Cameron Blakely, who was the devil in disguise. And he found the cat, thought it was brilliant, and took it on stage in his pocket and made it meow after every line he sang. <laughs> <laughs> so doing the yeah. attack was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do <laughs> because the whole gang, the whole Babe and Brujon, they're all wetting themselves and they can get away with it because yeah, they're yeah. a gang and they're together and I'm on my own <laughs> over the other side of Pretending the stage Pretending he's beside me. Yeah, just going, <laughs> don't laugh, please don't laugh, please just don't laugh. And he's going, meow, after every line. So I'd love to know more about your album. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you teasing fool. <laughs> okay, so um, it represents my fairly eclectic uh, taste in music. Mm -hmm. I have a radio show on Radio 2 mm -hmm. on, on a Sunday evening and what that is about is just playing great songs. I think I, I'm a good judge of songs and I cer certainly my listeners are as well. Yeah. And we sort of swap and trade ideas of what songs we think work, whether, whether they're current from the 60s, 70s, yeah. where, wherever it comes from. If it's a good song, it's a good song. And I'm, I was thinking about all this. And I thought, well, that's what I want my next album to be. I want it to just be, it doesn't have to have a theme, it doesn't have to have, it just needs to be a collection of really good pop songs. Yeah. If, if I can call them pop songs, they're not really. They're just really good songs. Yeah. Primary for me is always a lyric, a lyric I can get into, a lyric yeah. that I can connect with and that I can convince an audience with. Yeah. So that, that was the, the prerequisite for that. Do you watch True Blood? Yeah. Do you know the theme tune? I love that theme Don't tune you with just? a passion. Yeah. So I thought, <laughs> so do I. I'm going to record it. Amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited because I love that song. And I was like, why has no one picked up on this song? Yeah, it's a great song. It's incredible. It's really good in concert as well. I can imagine. You can get a bit rude. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I yeah. want to do bad things. I can't sing this to you. You're my daughter. It's no for God's sake. Father, father, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's an old song called Jesse. Um, done by Joshua Caddison. Jesse paints your pictures yeah. about how it's gonna be. So that kind of a story uh -huh. song. I've been asked to record that by uh, my stepdaughter since Aww. it was ever released, which is 93, I think, something like that. <clears throat> so I said I'd record that for her. I'm a big fan of Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. None of these people you will have heard of, <laughs> but you'd know the song. There's a song called Still the Same, which, um, I don't know, I just I wanted something with a bit of a good driving mm -hmm. beat and a, and, a, and a story song yeah. again. Do you like Lady Antebellum? Yep. I've done Need You Now, but as a, as okay. a solo. Awesome. I've done that a couple of times. I'm a, I love Once. I think it's a beautiful show. It's incredible. And, I, and Falling Slowly is one of the greatest songs. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to do it as a solo voice, as a solo male voice, because mm -hmm. when you hear it done... You, you kind of marvel at the beauty of the, the harmony, but mm -hmm. you, you sometimes miss the lyrics. Miss the lyrics, yeah. And you're not listening to actually what he's saying, which is really poignant, I mm -hmm. think. I'm mates with the overtones. Perfect. And, and we'd uh, uh, worked together a couple of times, and I said, well, why don't you come on and we'll sing the old Everly Brothers song. Nice. Let it be me. <laughs> cool. So we did that. Uh, so it's kind of this eclectic yeah, mix of, of, of really smashing musicians, um, we went and recorded the orchestra out in Prague. Mm -hmm. I always say this with, uh, with every album I do, this is the one I love, but this genuinely is. This is the one that is my most personal. I'm really proud of it. I've been very hands-on with all of yeah. the arrangements, with the production. Hence, it's now that's what I call Michael 19. <laughs> Good. That's the only thing I haven't been allowed to do is give it that title. Oh, that's such a shame. I know, that's I know. Such a shame. It's stupid. Why? It's a real <laughs> error. <laughs> yeah, now that's what I call Michael Twenty. Yeah, very lucky. Yeah, you know, it's it's it it actually is a privilege to be, especially in this day and age, to be able to go in and spend money in a studio mm. um, to make an album because that's kind of not how albums are made now, yeah. traditionally, and uh, that's how I like to do it. And and it's lovely that I've been able to and for it to be such a personal thing. So yeah. I hope people like it and and I hope to God people buy it. <laughs> so it went out? <laughs> it comes out on November the 17th. Wonderful. And uh, so we'll be doing a lot of promo about that, and then I shall be touring with it uh, next year, April and May. Amazing. Yeah. I hope we don't leave it another 12 years before no, we see each other again. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Lovely. Thank Bless you, you very much. My pleasure.